the Sciences Museum. Sciences. Alrighty. Okay, so this is not exactly a sequel, but the same guy who made the uh, planetarium map. He wanted to, he wrote on my video and said, hey, I made a sequel. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Congratulations, we chosen to test our new museum concept. The only way is to learning, the only way is by learning through three trials. Don't worry, you still have access to toilet. <laughs> Sorry for the chloroform and also not asking you to participate. Oh, so this is text and picture with a black border are not hints. Gold border are hint. Oh. So that's a hint. Text with text and picture with a black border are not hints. But this is a hint. Periodic table of the elements. Okay. S I P U Y. Well, I don't recall there being an element with a W. S maybe. Let me look. No, I don't see. I would definitely think it would relate to something like this, but unless I know exactly what it deals with. All right. If you see this button, this is a hint. Try to resolve the puzzle without it. Only when you are stuck. Okay, cool. Color trial. There's a door. I said I had access to toilet, so I'm guessing that's a reason. For a hint. Hmm. Seeing if there's anything I can use. No? Well, they were so thoughtful to let me use the toilet, though. <laughs> In the mat? No. Alright, so color trial, astronomy trial, chemistry trial. Ah, um, there's the three things that have... Alright. There's an x-ray chemist molecular structure DNA. Now, they say that's not supposed to be a thing, but... We never know. Okay, let's go look at astronomy. All right, solar eclipse. There's the sun, there's the moon. Mm hmm okay. All right, there's the, the moon, uh, phases of the moon. There's an earth, lunar phase. Ah, lunar phases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the dark side of the moon is pointed at the earth there, so, so that's the dark side. No, let's, let's keep it like that. All right, hang on. All right, leave it like that, yeah. Kind of looks like it, don't it? What opened? Something opened. I don't even know what I did, but something opened. Uh, Alright, I got a bunch of these. Okay. Alright, solar eclipse, sun. No, that's not it. Alright, if I'm looking for a solar eclipse, it's the earth in front of the moon. Like that. Earth, moon, sun. Right. Now this one is when the moon is blocking out the sun. Um, no. Let me see this one. No, that one relates to this guy. Okay. That's that one. Oh! Hello. Ooh, planet information. Orbital period, 365.26 days, 14 kilometers. So I gotta put this on all the planets. 87,000, okay, I get it. Gotta match the planet with its thing, okay. 686 days, um, that's not... Years. Oh boy. I know this is only eight here. Oh, we're only going up to uh, Uranus, are we? 11,000 years. 
164 years, 29,000 years, 224 days, 87,000 days, 365, okay, 365, yeah, planet on the sun, 365, that is numero ocho, alright, let's see, 224,000, 29,000 years, 164 years, 11,000 years, 84,000 years, okay, well, 84,000 years has to be the furthest away, that's just how it is. Then the next would be the next th uh, further so away. 686 days. That has to be Mars. That has to be Mars. That's the only way that makes sense. 11,000 years. Wait, wasn't there one that was... 164. Wait. 29,000. 274 days. That has to be Jupiter. 87,000 days. Is it 87,000 days or 87 point days? Um, 11.8... I think that's supposed to be a point. 164... Okay, hold on. So, 365 point quarter of a day. That's a point. That's right, they're probably from a foreign nation, whoever made this, so it's not American. So, again, Celsius, that means, yeah, because in foreign countries, they don't always use a period. They use a comma, depending on what it is. So this is 365. So that means this is 11 years, not 11,000. 84 years. I'm going to still say that's right. It's 11 years. 164 years. Put that there. Oh, wrong one. There. Because 164. Oh, Jupiter. Oh, not that one. 29 years? Yeah. Alright, so then that leaves. 224 days. Yep. Alright, so... Oh, okay. Alright, these are more star stuff. PCs, Gemini, Ryan, Aquarius. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Alright. Alright, PCs looks like this guy. It's like a triangle. All right, let me look at triangle. Oh, wait, six. Wait, hang on, let me just put these back on the table. Aquarius, Cetus, Orion. Okay, Orion's a belt, I know that. Uh, I wonder if it's that. Let me look around. Ursa Major. All right, um... Orion? No, that's Cortez. Yeah, my brother would like this one a lot better, too. I'm liking this a lot better than the other one, I will say that. This is much more involved. Okay, hang on. That's Gemini. It's two people. It's got the, uh... So, one line. And a cross in between them. The fungies. Oh, it's hard to tell. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, so these two dots and a line. So it's got to have an intersecting line. That might be it. All right, let me put this one here for now. Okay. All right, now then. What's the next guy? I have Orion. Let me look for Orion. I'll try to get the ones I know. Ursa Major, Draco. I don't have Draco. Or oh, I do have Draco. 
It looks like a big fat dragon. Okay. That kind of looks like it. Let me look for the box. No, this is Draco right here. That's it too. That for sure is Draco. Okay, Draco's out of the way. Uh, what else do I have left? I have Orion and PCs. Is that Aquarius? I don't think that's it. All right. Uh, see, this is PCs astronauts, but it's not exactly PCs though. Oh wait, here we go, PCs. Uh, it's like the opposite of the dragon. So square, fling, it's a V. That's PCs. That's PCs. All right, PCs. All right. Uh, Belt of Orion. Hmm. I will say make the text better. Maybe? I don't know. I'm still going to find, what the heck, Cetus and Aquarius. If I find one, I should be able to find the other. All right, let me look for Draco. All right, got it. Gemini, I already got. See this? C T O Z, or is that an S? It's kind of like a line and a big belt. It's not exactly like that, is it? Big giant. That might be it. Hmm. I could put it there for the moment. Alright, back up. Yeah, actually, that might be it. Oh, way. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Alright, so all I have left are Orion. An Aquarius. Right, let me look in the middle here. All right, I already got Draco. I already know that. All I need is to find one of them. Is that Aquarius? I can't read that. I mean, I could just... There, let me try it this way. Let me try Aquarius. Let me try Orion. No, okay. That was worth a shot. But I mean, if these won't work, that means it's possible that, uh... Oh, it did work. Good. All right, you don't need the items you find on this trial anywhere else. Please return them here. So I got, ah, okay, 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 I got a circle. All right. P. So I guess something in here does in fact deal with that. But what has a Y? All right, let me look for, oh wait. Oh, okay, there's P, that's 15. So I was wrong, all right. S is 16. All right, F, N, I have a U, Y. All right, I, 53. All right, then I need a U. I know there's a U. I know for a fact there's a U. But I've never seen a W before, let me see. All right, U, 92. All right. U92, W, oh, there is a W, okay, 74. I don't ever remember seeing a W on the map. What is that? W is, oh, I can't read it. <laughs> but I need a Y. Y. Y, 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 Y. Oh, 39, there we go.
Ew. Okay. So we have the vehicular structure COHN. All right. Two reds, one black, so. I'm gonna be red. Carbon O2 is just. Hmm. I must say. CO2. All right, let me put that there. CO, one C. This is O. H, three. And I'm guessing that's N. No. All right. Oxygen. Yeah, red. Okay. H two. Oh, oh, water. There we go. All righty. This is a hint. Paracetamol, vanillin, dopamine, aspirin. All right. That's a whole bunch of. Oh gosh. If you don't know what this is, this is our molecular structures of thingamajigs. Okay, so I got seven black ones, which has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, eight. I'm sorry, eight. Uh, there's three of them that have eight, but what else does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So white. So this is just a match thing. All right, but what else does it have? It has one and two. So this is paracetamol. All okay. All right, next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and three. I have an eight and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is vanillin. I don't know what vanillin does, but I know what aspirin and dopamine is. All right. Now this one, I'm going to go on to the gun because I have four elements. You see this one, dopamine has four. Aspirin only has three. See that has three, that is four. So we know this is dopamine. Oh, that's a long map. The law of conservation of mass is that the quantity of each element does not change the chemical reaction. Thus, each side of the chemical equation must represent the same quantity of any particular element. One balances a chemical equation by changing the scale or number for each chemical formula. Balance equations are often written with smallest whole number coefficients. The method of having a coefficient one. Okay. I get it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, this is, well, going by our thing, this is H2O. That's two. Ammonia. The small number, I guess, is also two. 20 minutes later. Oh, that did work. Okay. Well, that's what I was thinking. One carbon, two helium, one, two. Okay. So, I don't exactly understand it, but it worked. I thought it was going to take me longer, but it didn't. So, that's good. All right. Oh, wow. This map is huge. All right. What am I supposed to be doing? I gotta change the nucleus and all that. All right, the atomic molecule is enclosed by the protons and neutrons. The number of protons is the atomic number. Yeah. For an atom, the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. Yeah, so don't care. Protons are red. So we're looking at the atomic number. So what we need is one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. This is carbon. Nope, nope, that's it. All right, that's got two helium. 
one hydrogen what this probably just be the last option available yep all right electrons have a negative charge protons have positive yes all right protons are positive I'm gonna say protons are positive aren't they because it has one The number of protons determined for an atom, the number of electrons is the same number of protons. Okay. So it's nothing. Same number of protons as the electrons. So negative. Positive. Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah, protons and electrons. That's the proton, that's the electron, so that makes it zero. That makes that zero. That makes that negative, right? No. Hang on, let me see what the second clue. Oh. So more electrons and protons. So this is zero. That's negative. That's positive. Am I doing this right? Protons and electrons will have a negative charge. Well, that's it's balanced, ain't it? One and one. It's zero. Nothing. This has positive. No, it's negative. Well, let me put it that way. Let me put it that way. Let me put it that way. I mean, what's the way I'm supposed to put it? All right, let me do it this way. All right, that's that way. That didn't work. Switch to positive, switch over, switch, nothing. Switch to positive, switch to negative. But which way is it supposed to go? That's the problem. Where, where, how is it supposed to be charged though? That's the question. A few moments later. All right, let's just try it this way. Really? Really? Ugh. Okay, well, this is the solution. And positives up there, the negatives. I don't understand this puzzle. I have to say, dude, I don't have to understand that one. That one I don't understand. Just saying. Okay, so did everything, did astronomy, now color. All right, what am I, what am I trying to find? Oh, what am I looking for? Oh, what? Okay, green button, blue button. Am I looking for numbers? What am I looking for? Okay, what? What's the hint? All right, I see a Venn diagram, okay. All right, here's red. Plus green. 20 minutes later. I mean, I've done all the combinations I can think of now. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. That took way too long to try to figure that out. That's a hard puzzle, man. 
All right, we're doing wavelength stuff though. All right, let's see. Ob, so I have to try to figure them out on the wavelength, eh? All right. This down here, I think it matches in with K. This is white. I don't know where white goes. Also an off white. Oh, here we go. Maybe darker white, so G. Lighter white. I don't know about that one. All right, this is like a lighter. Hmm. I'm gonna say M. All right, lighter blue. All right, that's darker. So this is darker, so that means B, A. No. B, A. Well, that has an orange tint to it, so. Yep, okay. Oh, there we go. I have a cup. Oh, these again, okay. These things. Doesn't fit. I remember this from the last puzzle. All right, this is T. Uh, T. said R. Oh, it doesn't give that option. Okay. Or what this one? Okay, so I do not see helium on this one. Nor HG on this one. Nor Na. I see T. I do have an R, okay. Fe. All right, that one's set. This one. This is definitely Fe. So on this one. All right. This is an H. And R. All 
Oh, okay. Indeed. Okay. I like that it's longer. Definitely do. Some puzzles were extremely hard, like that uh, chemistry one I didn't under with the uh, math thing, and then the thing with the uh, triangles that got confusing. The color one was hard as well. The color one and these other ones are kind of hard. So this one is an extremely hard map. Well, not extremely hard. Uh, but I was able to understand it. The science, the planet stuff was the easiest. So this takes a bit, but it was good. So good job on it. Um, and, I, and I do like the fact that it was a lot longer and everything too. I enjoyed that much. So thank you for making it. Thank you for watching.